Greetings, it is MaxoDiddly here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to be get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with doing a length check part 4, and this is going to be the final episode of this mini length check series. So, a length check is basically ch checking the length of a user input to match certain criteria. This could be a length matching a certain number, being less than a number, greater than a number, or in this case, not equal to a number. This is going to probably be the most niche scenario, but we're going to check if the length of a user input is not equal to a length we specify. So let's get right into how we do that. Firstly, we've got a user input variable and we're going to assign Jeff to it. This is to represent the user input. In your program, I would imagine you have a different way of getting user input. This tutorial won't cover how you get the user input, but how you can validate it. So just a minor disclaimer there. Then we're going to have a print statement, which just prints whatever is in the brackets. What we're going to do is valid length, user input and 6. This will make sense in one moment. So up here we are going to define our valid length check function. So we're going to do def, which is short for define. Then we're going to do is valid length. This is the name of the length check function. Then we're going to do input and size as our two parameters. Input's going to be the string we want to validate. Size is going to be used to the criteria to determine how long we want the string to be. Then we do a colon at the end. So define, just syntax we put at the start of a function the name of the function, the parameters, and then a colon. Then we do return len input is not equal to size. So return is just going to return a true or a false to whatever we call our code in this case. Len, this len function, is going to return the size of whatever we pass in. In this case, it's input. So we're going to get the length of the input that we pass in. In this case, uh, since it's Jeff, it's going to be a 4. Then we're going to do not equal to size. So you might be thinking, what does this mean? Well, basically, we're checking if the size of the input is not equal to a certain size. So let's say we have 4 as our length. We're going to check if 4 is not equal to 6. 4 is not equal to 6, therefore this is a true statement. So we will print true. But let's say we do Jeff with two exclamation marks at the end. That input length is 6. Is 6 not equal to 6? That's false. 6 is equal to 6, therefore the statement 6 is not equal to 6 is an invalid statement, therefore it's false. So that's the basics of what this is doing. We're just doing an opposite of checking if it's equal to a size. So when we call our function, we're going to do is valid length, then a comma, no, then a bracket, then we do user input, which is going to be the word we get as our user input, comma, then six is going to be what we're going to check the input length is not equal to. There'll be a couple of brackets. So let's see what happens. As you can see, it prints a true because 4 is not equal to 6. Let's do a couple more exclamation marks. It's false because 6 is equal to 6 and we want to make sure the input is not 6 characters long. Let's do a few more exclamation marks. It's true because this is not 6 characters long. Let's just change the size to 7. Just to nail the, uh, the idea home that this code works. And as you can see it prints true because this is not 7 characters. Therefore the input length is not equal to 7. Therefore it's true. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you want to see more Python tutorials click the eye up in the corner. And thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.